everybody, I'm Katie, and today I am going to show you how to make this trout fish painted on a rack using acrylic paints. I'm going to try and make this quicker than my last video, which was like a half hour long, so I'm not going to go through as many details, but here it is, and here are all the paint colors that I used, these ones, not the ones in the box. If you can see, I'll write them down in the comments and description of the video so I don't have to go through each of them. And I already prepared them. You can see I doubled up on some of the spaces. So here it is. Hopefully that'll show in the video or at least stay still so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. So with this rock, I actually did a matte black on this because in the videos they don't glare as much but generally I would use the gloss on this and even with a matte black once I spray it with the gloss it'll still turn out pretty glossy just not as much a hint less but for video sakes there's less of a glare so I'm gonna paint take my a green the darkest green actually and I'm gonna decide which way that I want the fish to face on the rock this rock I'm gonna put the mouth on this side because I'm gonna add bubbles that is blowing and I'm gonna just make these holes in the rock so you can see that the rock has some holes in them and I'm gonna use that to my advantage and make those into bubbles later and there's less holes on this side so that's why I'm choosing this one and I'm gonna make an oval a very long and narrow oval so that's step one I'm going to try and move the lighting off a little. Everyone says lighting, lighting, lighting. I can see why. I don't remember struggling with it in my last video. So I'm going to do that. And then from the bottom, from the very edge, I'm going to kind of make that into a point. Soft point. And I'm going to take the end of the point. I'm going to wrap it up. And almost make triangle but with this edge being round the rest of them don't need to be so round and I'm gonna reload my paintbrush and fill that in to make it a little bit darker now with these acrylic paints they're very transparent so you're gonna see the black through them but that's okay that makes them easier to work with then I'm going to take my lightest green, so I have three different greens here to play with, even a yellow, um, and I have a red and a pink and a white and a black. Uh, I just put some extra colors. I think that's what I'm going to use. We'll see. And I'm going to do a splotch there, splotch there, put a little bit too much, otherwise I'd make them more into triangles. If I take the small brush, I can turn them into triangles for you. With one whole edge of the triangle up against the body. Now right now I'm just getting the composition down. And once we start working the fish a little bit more with the paint, if you will, we'll get into, we'll It'll start forming butter. So I'm going to just wipe this brush off. I'm not going to. I have a towel there that I reuse all the time. So I'm going to take the middle green. And I'm going to paint over the original green. Original dark green area because I'm satisfied with the shape. I use a dark green, so if I wasn't satisfied enough with the shape, I can always let it dry and paint over it with black more easily than a light color. And 
if you could see it's so dark you can't even see that where I put over the light lighter edge barely see I'm not gonna f I'm gonna have to go in later and put some black around there to, for corrective purposes barely see it and there's my triangle just filling it in again we're not worrying about the detail we're just getting the base down and I'm gonna wipe off this brush same brush and I'm gonna dip it in the white and so if the tail's going to the right towards the left of the fish more off center I'm gonna bring a white line down a little bit off to the center and then make it over to the side and then I'm gonna follow some of the white on each of the sides so I want the white in the center this that first rigid line to be the strongest that's why I did that one first and the other ones to follow because they won't be as bright um, as you can see from this fish there's that white line again we're just getting the structure down we'll get the details we'll work the details in as we go they'll start appearing and I'm gonna put a little bit of the rest of that white the tip of its tail and along the top of its tail so that white line almost comes around and flips he's like flipping his tail so you want it to kind of go with that and brush it off and I'm going to take a little bit of the pink and I'm going to dab some of that pink off so it's very very little bit of pink as you can see I dabbed it dabbed it there's not much left on the paint brush just enough to add some color to the sides oh. I probably dab a little too much off. That's okay. Just add some more. And then I'm actually going to add a little bit of red. Make it pop. And on trout, they have a top like gills right over the right beyond its eyes so I'm going to add some red to kind of donate that spot again we're not seeing much detail here it's not showing much but as we work through it it will and I'm going to wipe my brush off again I haven't washed it yet and I'm going to go in with the dark green and just fill in a little bit of the space between on both sides of the white and the tail just to get that color going and it's layering I'm gonna take some of that lighter green now that the whites dry a little bit go over it I'm gonna start blending these colors together yeah it's true sometimes I rush into it and I leave, lose the color I just gotta go back in there now this is all self-taught so I'm sure that there's gonna be people out there that say oh you should do this you should do that well to each their own that's fine so blend 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 you can start seeing they come together now I've gotten that white area a little bit too white I like I'm gonna try the yellow see what that looks like and blend that yellow in there so the more paint that's in there that's wet the easier that it is to start blending these so I'm just switching in and out of colors and blending them making sure that I get the top oops that was way too much take it off my brush wipe it 
making sure to get that line in the middle going down the top of its body because it's flipping out <clears throat> uh -huh. flip out flipping out you're probably like where are you taking this you keep just you know putting colors over on top well I kind of do that just until I find what I really am looking for it takes trial and error each time and I think that's why I really like working with these acrylics it's because it allows you for trial and error Blend, 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 blend. And I pull up too much on my brush again. Take some more off. I'm going to wrap it up here soon. Ooh, see, I like that. I like the way that dark red line kind of came in. Bam. And now I'm going to stop on that side. Every now and then you just hit that perfect look. And I like when something pops out like that. I do. It gives it diment more dimension. And again, boom. I like how that side kind of came out. Eh, a little extra red on this side. So it doesn't look totally opposite. Oops, shoot, again, too much red. That's okay, just take it off the brush. There. Now it's coming together. I'm gonna do a little bit of the white, see if I can pull that. There we go. It's starting to come together. I really hope that this video shows this. Well, never. While I'm looking down painting, it's hard to try and look up at the video, but the screen to see what it's showing. As you can see, it's coming together. Now, I'm going to get rid of this fat brush because now I'm losing control. I've gotten enough as far as I can with this detail with this fatter, thinner, smooth brush. So, I'm going to briefly rinse it so that it doesn't dry out. <clears throat> and ruin the brush. And I'm going to start with my thin brush. Here is what I mean by my thin brush. It is thin. Got this one from Walmart too. The other one I got from my neighbor. Thank you, neighbor. Her daughter borrowed my paints and paint brushes and she let one of the dry brushes dry out and one of the paints dry out so they gave me one of their better brushes. So that was nice of them. I got a nice brush out of it. Okay. So I'm looking at this and I'm pretty satisfied with the body. Once I put the dots on, it'll start coming to life more. So I'm going to work on the fins now. So one of the hardest things to do with these arts is you guys all know, whoop, let me turn up. Oh, is that better? Is that better without the light? I'll do a couple minutes without it. See what I think. So what's great about, well, it's one of the hardest things about art is knowing when to stop. Because we can work something and work something and work something. And I found the minute I say, oh, that looks nice, I stop with that process and I move on. Um, so the process I had stopped at was using that thick brush. So it's going through, going through, and all of a sudden I was like, oh, well, that looks good enough. So right now I'm taking the white and I'm putting them on the edge making lines on the edge of the fins. Wipe it off, dab a little things. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the white 
and a little bit of pink. So first I dabbed it in white, then I dabbed it in my brush in pink. Dab, then pink, dabbed in white. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull very lightly these lines down and up so that it kind of creates this feather look. A white dab, pink dab, white dab. So there's like three layers on here. And dab some of it off. <clears throat> and very, very, with the very tip of it, I'm feathering it out. And I'm feathering it towards <coughs> the end of the fin and towards the beginning of the fin. And because when you dab it a couple of times like that, that amount of paint in it, the paint builds up on your paintbrush. So I actually have to rinse this one more often, the one with the fine point. So pink, I'm sorry, white, pink, white, dab. I'll show you that again. I dipped it in the white, I dipped it in the pink, and I dipped it in the white again. And I'm going to do the same thing where I'm just going to feather it. You guys tell me, what do you guys think about this lighting versus the other one? People say lighting, lighting, lighting. So I went out, this being my second tutorial, and I grabbed a bright light to shine down on almost like it's better without it feedback would be great I'm gonna take that white brush too and I'm gonna redefine this line where he's flipping his fin take some of the darker color and I'm gonna define his body oops coming out and I'm actually what I'm doing when I lean over here is I'm just wiping my brush off the paint because I'm switching colors so I'm switching over to black now because this black I want to this is corrective work right now I'm taking that black and I'm creating a finer line to the fit fish. So I'm using the same matte black that I use in the background to correct it. Now I have done the mistake of correcting it with a satin, you know, correcting matte black with a satin black and vice versa. And you don't really want to do that. You can see the corrections significantly. So I just wiped off my brush. Okay, and I'm going to take some of the screen. Now I'm going to start working on the tail a little bit more. And I took some of the lighter green because this is the top of the tail. I'm going to take the lighter green because the sun would come down on it. And put it towards the center of it. Take some of the dark. I'm going to start blending it from light to dark. Light, light, light to... Sorry, I'm not always in the center of the camera. One day I'll get a better camera from this. Right now I have my... Right now I have my... What's it called? Uh, tablet. And I have my tablet set up and there's like rocks propping it up and... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just starting. I'm not, I'm doing this because uh, so many people have asked me to, oh my goodness, how do you do this? And I would love to share because people think that it's way harder than I think it, than it is. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just not um, appreciating my own skill or, over or, or overthinking that people would be able to do this 
just as easily. And I don't like the way that shape of that tail is. So I'm going to correct it. See that black line? I'm almost going to make it into more of a heart shape. And this is what's great again about acrylics. I'm just correcting it by putting the matte black over it. Woohoo, that looks good. And I think it's good enough. It's off to the side of the rock quite a bit, but I was trying to use those bubbles for my advantage. All right, so now I'm gonna really go into the details. So I'm gonna clean the brush again in the water and really dry it off. Make sure you dry it off pretty well because if the, wa if the pink gets overly watery from the brush, then it's hard, it, they start to bleed a little bit more. So I'm gonna dip it in the black. Again, I guess I, got, I didn't have to clean it yet because I wanna get the eyes in. I'm going to put a dot there and a dot there yeah. and just a couple of marks on top of its eyes and a little mouth. It's very small. You can barely see it. That's okay. I like it that way. Okay, now I'm going to rinse this off. Okay, and next, I am going to work on those dots. So the very tip, I did a lighter color. So if this is the darker green, then I'm going to make dots. And the dots are going to be more organic. They're not going to be perfect dots. So I put the dots a little bit around the face in the darker areas. And I'm going to make the dots, also the yellow dots, so down the middle a tiny bit in a bunch around the back there. Now I'm going to take the pink. No, I don't want the pink. I want the red. I'm going to take the red and I'm going to start the dots up all the way by its eyes because There's like gills there. So I'm going to make it a little bit different than just green. So these are organic dots, meaning they're not perfectly circle. Not perfectly placed. The sizes are all a little bit different. And again, on this side, I'm going to put a little bit more heavier dots. So I started thinning the, thinning the dots out. They're not as close to each other. So they started off very close up here. And then they start going further apart. Same with the yellow. And I'm going to put a couple down here, too. Really close together. A few. All right, now for the black. So I'm going to rinse this. Let's see. Uh, shoot, I'm at 24 minutes already. I was trying to make these videos so they were less than a half hour. Not too easy to do that. I guess I got to pick easier paintings. All right, so now the rest I'm going to fill in with black spots. I guess that's what I should say. Spots instead of dots. And I'm rushing through this a little bit more because I'm trying to make the video not so long. I 
I remember watching another a YouTuber, somebody I watch quite often because I think he's got a great channel. And I like the information he gives. It's an RVing one. Nomadic Fanatic, if you want to check it out. Anyways, I re he's really good. He's good at his art. He's really good at the YouTubing thing. And I remember him saying one time to the video length shouldn't be that long because then people start losing interest. Okay, time to rinse it. And I'm going to take some of the black and the white and mix it together because I want a little bit of gray. I do have gray paint, but sometimes when this paint is already out here, especially when I'm making this video, I'll just mix the two. And I'm going to take the gray and I'm going to do the dots along the, the top. Uh, the top of the fish. Where that white line is. And I'm going to start integrating them. Throughout the fish as well. Not a lot, just a little. So, if you get the idea of how to do it, it's not as detailed as as perf well as great as the other one, but my time is starting to run out here. I don't want to make this too long. I'll keep going till it hits th around 30 second, 30 minutes. So I'm going to add some pink. So I didn't like that there wasn't very much pink in the fins that came out. So between the white and the green, I'm just going to add a little bit more. I don't know, should I risk and try and put some on the tail? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna put some of the dark green and do some dots up at the front. Dark green. Just to dull out the color changes. This one's not as good as the other one. I'll admit it, but it's a tutorial, and the other one probably took me an hour to do, and I'm doing this one in a half hour, and in a position that I'm not used to, an actual physical way of sitting and holding it. Like, you can see that I keep trying to bring it closer to me or move it around. I'll get there. Better and better. Every day. I'm going to make these front fins bigger. The front ones should be bigger. They almost seem to be the same size, if not smaller than the other. Paint's building up, so I had to brush it, wipe the, wipe it off, wipe it off. Plus, when I spray this, it's going to have a gloss look to it, so it'll come out a lot better. It 
will look a lot more finished once I do that. And I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow here. And some yellow there. Wipe some paint off. Put some pink in there. And just keep blending away until I find what I like. Starting to have this muddy look that I like. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to go in back in with some black and make these lines a lot more. Look at that. What a difference. Drag the black in. I don't want to lose that feathered look. But I wanted to find the feathered look more. And there we have it. Let's do the bubbles. Do I have time for, oh, 31 minutes. I'm going to stop. So there it is. Thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for some next videos. And where I'm going to hide them. So I'm going to make a bunch of these. Probably about mm, 10 of them tonight. Because I have to build up some inventory of them. Plus somebody wants to uh, buy three of them that I already know. And I'm going to do a booth. So I'm going to make a bunch of these, have the custom guy pick three of his favorite from the whole group, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to abandon about three of them in the Arlington Heights and Mount Prospect and Schaumburg area. I don't know where yet. You'll have to watch those videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, really appreciate that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.